Tableau and Power BI are often seen as top solutions, but deciding between them can be a bit tricky. My name is Daniel and today I am going to compare Power BI versus Tableau. In this video I will tell you what these tools are known for, go over their main features, talk about their similarities and differences, explore their strong sides and weaknesses, and of course I will try to help you decide which tool is best to choose. Also guys, if you are starting from scratch or looking to boost your skills, I will leave all useful links in the description down below, so feel free to check them out after watching this video. So let's start. Power BI vs Tableau, what are they known for? Alright, so before I start comparing these data visualization tools, let me tell you a bit about them. I feel like I need to give you a better idea of what they are famous for and their main features. And let's start with Power BI. Power BI is a Microsoft service for business analytics. It lets you make interactive visualization using self-service business intelligence. Today, with Power BI, end users can create their own reports and dashboards without relying on other technologies. This tool can use data from different sources, help companies make reports, charts, tables and interactive visuals for insights. What's more, it's easy to integrate Power BI with other Microsoft systems like Azure, SQL Server, Excel and Access. It's trusted by numerous organizations globally such as IBM, Visa, Microsoft, Netflix, Salesforce, Adobe, Walmart and many more. Here are some of the key features Power BI offers. DAX or Data Analysis Expressions are pre-made codes in Power BI for analytical tasks like creating custom tables or columns. The library has over 200 of these functions. Data transformation. Power BI has a built-in tool Power Query that can be used for data transformation using filtering, also removing and replacing inaccurate and inefficient data. Q&A. Power BI's Q&A feature lets you ask questions in plain language, and the AI provides visuals related to your question. This makes data interaction super easy. Instant reports. In Power BI you can quickly create reports using real-time data from various sources, getting fast data-driven answers for quick decision-making. Ok guys, and now let's take a look at Tableau. Just like Power BI, Tableau is a tool for visualizing data and business intelligence. It offers an interactive and user-friendly interface to create impactful visualizations that are easy to share. In general, Tableau is recognized for its strong reporting and impressive visualization features. Being part of the Salesforce ecosystem means it seamlessly accesses information in the Salesforce data cloud. Still, it can also put data from other systems. Today, businesses and organizations of all sizes from startups to Fortune 500 companies use Tableau. And here are some of the important features of the Tableau. Vector-based maps. Latest Tableau versions have sleek vector-based maps, providing cleaner and smoother exploration of geographical data. Dashboard comments. Tableau allows real-time dashboard comments, enhancing collaboration and performance. Data blending. This feature allows blending data from different sources, useful for analyzing related data in a single view. Collaborations. Tableau enables seamless collaboration for your team, whether it's on-site, in the cloud or both. You also receive notifications for any data changes. And again, folks, there is much more to this tool. But for now, let's move forward to the next topic. Power BI vs Tableau – Pros and Cons Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy the content I make. That's all. Like any tool out there, both Power BI and Tableau come with a number of advantages and disadvantages. Let's start with all the great things they can offer. Power BI Advantages Interactive Desktop Power BI allows easy data access and swift report creation, even for users with no data skills. Visuals Power BI helps visually organize data sets for a clear understanding and a competitive age. Data source support Power BI supports multiple data sources like Excel, SQL, web files, allowing for interactive visualizations, stream analytics. 
Get real-time insights with dynamic data visuals using Azure Stream Analytics to upload your dashboard with live data. Tableau Advantages It's super user-friendly. Anyone, regardless of their data skills, can use Tableau. The dashboard is easy to understand, and the whole experience is straightforward, easy to connect. Tableau makes it easy to connect with various data sources, technologies and formats using its data connectors. Easy to share. Tableau makes it simple for teams to share and work together on project reports. Mobile support. You can check out Tableau dashboards on your phone or tablet too. Alright, people, and now let's talk about limitations. Power BI disadvantages. Limited customization. Currently, Power BI has customization options but may not be as flexible as Tableau. Limited data connection. Power BI has limited data connection options compared to Tableau. This could be a drawback if you are dealing with data from various sources. Dependency on other Microsoft products. Because Power BI is made by Microsoft, you might need other Microsoft products to make the most of all its features. Power BI does not support macOS. And Microsoft doesn't have plans to launch it on this platform. Tableau disadvantages. It's costly. Tableau is really expensive. Especially for big companies needing multiple licensing or access to advanced features. Longer learning paths. Learning Tableau might be more challenging than Power BI. Especially for beginners or those without a technical background. Problems with large data sets. There might be performance issues when dealing with big data sets or complex calculations. Power BI vs Tableau. Key differences. Now I have to say there is a lot these tools have in common. Both Power BI and Tableau are tools for looking at data and making sense of it. But they have some significant differences. These differences are about their user interface, ease of use, data handling abilities, and integration with other tools and platforms. And guys, let's talk about all that in more detail. User interface. Tableau is friendlier and easier to use with a simple drag and drop style. Power BI might need a bit more learning. But Power BI is packed with powerful features for advanced users. Data integration. Power BI works really well with Microsoft style like Excel and SQL Server. Tableau, on the other hand, can connect to all sorts of data sources, including stuff in the cloud and web services. Cost. Power BI is budget-friendly, with a free version and cheaper paid options. Tableau guys much more expensive, especially for big business solutions. Customization. On the current moment, Tableau lets you do more fancy stuff with dashboards and visuals. On the other hand, Power BI has some limits on that cool customization. Collaboration. Power BI is a team player with built-in features like co-authoring and commenting. Tableau needs extra tools from outside to do similar teamwork stuff. Visualization. Tableau is like the artist of data, with super cool charts and has more advanced options. Power BI is simpler, great for making basic charts with an easy interface. Power BI vs Tableau, which to choose? Alright folks, finally it's time for the big question. Which of these tools should you choose for your work with data? And you know what, choosing between Power BI and Tableau depends on what you need. In my opinion, Power BI is like a do-it-yourself tool. It's easy for anyone to use, not just pros. It's also great if you want to analyze data without hiring a data expert. Now Tableau is just as powerful, but it's a bit trickier to learn. Pros can clean up and turn data into visuals more easily. That's why if you're just starting, it might feel challenging without some data skills. In addition, Tableau is quite expensive. In my opinion, that makes it much less accessible than Power BI. And if you're a small business with a tight budget, Power BI is good. Especially if you're already into Microsoft stuff. On the other hand, the bigger company super into data, Tableau is the go-to. Alright, my friends, that's all for my Power BI vs Tableau comparison. I left all the useful links in the description, so you can learn or improve your skills with these data visualization tools. So guys, feel free to check them out. Also, if you found this content enjoyable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscription button. And finally, thanks for watching, until next time.